Hello everyone and welcome to Powerline. My name is Kaiser X here, coming at you with the deck profile of my Nova Stride deck. Starting with the grade zeros, our starting vanguard is Transmite Grading Evolution Mario, which is the grade three searcher. This helps you with striding and getting more grade threes in your hand as well with grade lock. However, it should be noted that you can play the new right horn-esque generation break one starter, but I found it to be less optimal for my style of play. In addition, the trigger lineup is eight critical, four draws, and four heals. Specifically, you must include four red lightning in order to utilize the unflipping ability if you find that you need to. Next, we have our grade one lineup. Starting out, we have Lady Cyclone as our perfect card. However, this can also be replaced with a normal perfect card. The reason you run Lady Cyclone in this deck is due to the heavy counterblast nature, and you need the unflips occasionally. Our next card is Claydol Mechanic, which we run four copies of. This card is crucial in providing that one extra counterblast you might need for White Hank or any of your other combo plays. Next, we run four of Arashid, Extreme Battler Arashid. This is used purely for stride, or if you have Muscle Shriek in hand and you'd rather go for Victor, you play that and you add the Victor to hand and you can discard anything. Our final grade one is Energy Charger, which you run at two. Energy Charger helps get that free plus one and helps you develop a hand, which Nova's struggle with. And also with Kagero becoming the next, quote, best deck, it helps maintain advantage when you might otherwise lose it. Next we have our grade twos. Starting out, we run four copies of White Hank. White Hank helps open those extra restanding plays, which interacts with another grade two that we have. This grade two is Extreme Battler Sasanda, which we run at either four or three, depending on your preference. This card's effect states, when this card is stood due to an effect from one of your cards, this unit gets plus 5,000 power until end of turn. This is only active during generation break one, but that's very easy to attain in this deck. Next, you can either run four or three copies of Ganzok, depending on how many you decide to run of Sasanda. He's just a generic 12k attacker, which the deck needs sometimes, because sometimes you aren't able to just throw down an extra booster, and you just need to attack unboosted at the vanguard. Next, we run Muscle Shriek. This is probably the most underrated card in the upcoming set. It's only a rare, but in my opinion, it's the most optimal alternate vanguard for the deck. Its Generation Break 2 ability states, when this unit attacks, you may counter blast 2 and restand 2 of your rear guards plus 2,000 power. This is good for opening up extra restanding plays, obviously, but as well, what I find to be really be the selling point of this card is the second effect. When this card is placed on the Vanguard Circle, counter blast 1 and soul blast 1, if you pay the cost, choose one of your greater 1 or less rear guards, choose one of your opponent's rear guards with equal to or less power, than that unit and retire it. Now this wording may get a little confusing, but in essence, you choose your rear guard, you choose your opponent's, your opponent's rear guard is retired if it has less than or equal to power. I find this to be a nice addition because with Mario in the mix, you have that extra soul that you can utilize. And with Energy Charger, you still have just enough soul to use its effect. Finally, we have our last grade three, Super Extreme Battler Victor. This card is the main card you want to ride as your grade 3 unit, primarily because of its on-stride ability. However, its generation break 2 ability is very useful as well. When this unit attacks a vanguard, this unit gets 5,000 power until end of battle. Choose one of your rear guards, stand it, and it gets 5,000 power. Now this ability is great when comboing with Sasanda and or White Hank. It creates crazy column numbers that your opponent just has to deal with multiple attacks. So if your opponent's at 5 damage, they're usually in a very bad situation. And then its on stride ability, which is also very good, reads, during your turn, when your unit strides on this unit, choose one of your vanguards, and until at the end of this turn, it gets the ability, counter blast one, when this unit attacks a vanguard, you may pay the cost. If you do, choose one of your rear guards, stand it, and it gets 5,000 power until end of turn. Once again, this just furthers feeding Sasanda, and as well, it really combos well with White Hank. Now finally, we're on to our G units. I run two copies of Miracle Element Atmos. I use this primarily towards the end of the game if I feel I can squeeze out some extra power so that way if my opponent doesn't have a perfect guard, they're basically put into a no-win scenario. 
However, I don't find myself going into this too often because of one of my other G units. The next G unit we run is two copies of Meteor Kaiser Vic 10. Now this card is great in the early game because if the attack hits, you can restand one of your units plus 5,000 power. And that's just so invaluable with Sasanda and all these other cards that work well in the deck. And finally, on to the real boss card of the deck, Meteor Kaiser Vict Plasma. Currently, it is the only Stride Vanguard that can restand. Its ability reads, Counter Blast 2, and choose a face-down copy of Meteor Kaiser Vict Plasma from your G-Zone, turn it face up. If the number of face of cards in your G-Zone is two or more, which it will be because you have Vict Plasma on the Vanguard and then the other one flipped up, <clears throat> Until end of turn, this unit gets drive minus one, which means you take off one of your drive checks. However, it gains the ability, choose two cards from your hand and discard them. At the end of this battle, attack the vanguard, you may pay the cost. If you do, stand this unit. Now this is obviously very powerful. The fact that you can restand a vanguard that will be swinging for a minimum of 26,000 is just awesome. And then you figure that you get to combo it with Victor's on stride ability, which I typically use on the second attack, and it just becomes a deadly unit. So let me know what you guys think. I'd love to get your feedback on this deck. Now this is Kaiser X, signing out.